Hey everyone, I'm Dan Plezak and welcome to MLB The Show. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Seattle Mariners. Lou Gehrig, the league's top home run hitter, will look to widen his lead atop that board next. Kevin Gossman, the native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you take a look at that ERA, and it's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this point, and it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. Hey, stay hot, huh? Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball. Ball one. And fellas, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here tonight. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matty, I don't think yesterday's loss should be a focus on this team whatsoever. I think they showered that one off. They had a big winning streak coming into their last. Swung on and belted. Get out the rye bread and mustard, Grandma. It's great salami time. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. So his remarkable season continues. And this is now a two-to-nothing lead for the Yankees. So we'll take one more look. And boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. At the plate, Lou Gehrig. He's been sending souvenirs into the seats at a record clip. If he manages to keep on to this pace, he could end the year with over 75 home runs. And I would love nothing more than to see him do it. This is historic. This is why you pay the price of a ticket. You want to see this guy get his four. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now to the plate, Reggie Jackson. The center fielder, number nine, Reggie Jackson. Gehrig, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. De La Cruz camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. Here's big Aaron Judge. Hey, His career right numbers against number Kevin Gossman. Down. He's one for Aaron. three. Judge. Hey, your pitch. Drive it deep, huh? Here you go. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One left for the Yankees, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Next for New York, Lou Gehrig. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Gehrig. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball. 1-0. The 1-0 home. Line drive, base hit to right. Find the ball. Find the ball. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now.
first game of a new series and he's already sitting on three knocks right now. The pitching staff might have to make an adjustment going forward. So first and second with one man gone. And here is Mr. October, Reggie, Reggie Jackson. Jackson. Two runs, seven hits, hey, and no right errors now. for the Yankees so far. Popped him up. Boone has a play, and he makes the catch for the second out. So coming to the plate, Aaron Judge. He looked to bounce back after like striking you. out his last time Aaron. up. Come on, big guy. Two it. runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Skied in the air to straightaway left. You're going, you're going, you're going, you're going. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. The batter, number four, designated hitter, Lou Garrett. Let's go, kid. One time, right here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. No. Trying to work that slider to the one outer ball. half, but no it misses start. one and all. Oh. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two, two and all. No strike. It's a lot easier to hit when you're Wait, putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance though as it landed in the upper deck. Breaking oh. ball well inside and taken three for ball one. three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill here, huh? afford to start giving away free passes. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. Adios, pelota. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, his second of the game. As the Yankees start to pull away a bit, it's now four to nothing. You want to certainly drive home runs out of the ballpark, then you better get on the gas. And that's what he did right there. That fastball was not sneaking by him. And that save number 33 on the season for him, matching my career best for a season. The difference is he still has a chance to notch number 34. Another nice outing from him. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The New York Yankees jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Walter Johnson wins a league-high 16th decision with 15 strikeouts. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Yankees, four runs on 10 hits, no errors, they left 10 men on base. For the Mariners, three runs on nine hits, no errors, they left 14 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and two minutes.
We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the New York Yankees and the Seattle Mariners. Lou Gehrig, the league's top home run hitter, will look to widen his lead atop that board next. Johan Ramirez gets the ball for Seattle in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you take a look at this guy's ERA. Any ERA under four is pretty good in this day and age of baseball when we have all these high-scoring, high-flying affairs. This guy knows how to pitch. He knows how to control the running game. And most importantly, he's not afraid to throw strikes. And we'll see how he does in this one. Batting third. Stepping up now, Lou hitters. Gehrig. He currently Lou. sits atop the home run Gehrig. leaderboard and seems to be heating up even more here in the dog days of August. This guy has been on absolute fire. You get on a run like this, you want to show up to the yard at 1 o'clock in the afternoon for a 7 o'clock oh, game. This guy is prepared, ready to go, and seeing the ball like it's a beach ball right now. And, fellas, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play one here ball, tonight. They dropped another one last time out, and, in fact, they've won just twice hey, in their last on, eight huh? tries. Yeah, Maddie, they lost last game only by one run. Those are the tough ones. No but I'm sure they've looked at the film made a few adjustments, and let's see if they can give a better effort today. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Earl Hendricks. Hey, d -Row, Earl Hendricks, he, he's not a guy that gets a lot of complaints by either players or pitchers. He's a pretty good umpire. Yeah, Dan, Earl's got a great... And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. So not much happening here in the top half of the first. It's the Yankees nothing. Mariners coming to bat. Major League Baseball is on the show. Babe Ruth is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Now with the plate, Lou Gehrig. He's been sending souvenirs into the seats at a record clip. If he manages to keep on to this pace, he could end the year with over 75 home runs. And I would love nothing more than to see him do it. This is historic. This is why you pay the price of a ticket. You want to see this guy get his four at bats. Can't tell you how monumental it would be for not only him, but for the game to see him get to 75 home runs. Strike one to start the at bat. Minoso right leads off first with one away. There's a swing and he Get sends a ball Get high in the air into left field. <laughs> it is gone. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's a two run shot to straight away left. So his remarkable season continues as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Well, we certainly mentioned the fact that this guy leads the league in home runs, and now he's got one more to add to that total. Perfect swing right there in a home run to left field. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Lou Gehrig, and he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A-B, but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Come on, big guy. See the wind up it. and right the 0 1. Down and away, ball one, one. 1. We've seen this before fastballs in, then breaking balls away. That's been his plan of attack throughout the first half of this game. The 1 1. Driven deep at the wall. It is gone. <laughs> A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game as we are all tied at five. He's one of the best home run hitters in the league, and rightfully so. You're not going to get cookies thrown at you every at-bat. 
Most guys can handle a fastball, but he waited back on that off-speed pitch and drove it right. Coming to the plate now, Lou Gehrig. As we mentioned earlier, he's vying for the league's home run crown, and he certainly helped his cause in this one, adding two notches to his homer total so far. Yeah, I think when he woke up with his morning coffee today, he would have clocked in two bombs and been okay with it. This at-bat right here is just gravy for him. Six runs, nine hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Ball one. one. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. Come on, baby. See it up, drive it. In That's tight the with the slider, two and two. Get your pitch on. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees' DH. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Rip, Shoot like for the corner, and if you now, miss huh? and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. So they do pick up the out here, but with six runs home against them already, it's not going to help out the team ERA by any Four wins in a row for these guys, and I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see how long they can keep this up. 7-5 tonight's final. New York used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Babe Ruth records his 14th winning decision of the season. Johan Ramirez struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Yankees, seven runs on ten hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Mariners, five runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left 18 runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 33 minutes. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the New York Yankees and the Seattle Mariners. Lou Gehrig, the league's top home run hitter, will look to widen his lead atop that board next. Domingo Herman gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Uh, Herman sneaky quick fastball 93 to 95 miles an hour his best off-speed pitch though is the changeup and it's an advanced changeup for such a young pitcher good mix of pitches one of the things he does he attacks the strike zone when he's throwing strikes Batting he's third. tough to hit stepping up to the plate Lou Boo. Gehrig he currently sits Gehrig. atop the home run leaderboard yeah, and seems to be good. heating up even more here in the dog days of August 
This guy has been on absolute fire. You get on a run like this, you want to show up to the hey, yard at on, 1 o'clock in the high. afternoon for a 7 o'clock game. This guy is prepared, ready to go, and seeing the ball like it's a beach ball right now. Fellas, the Mariners entering play here this afternoon. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Matty, if they're going to clean up their recent trend right now, they're going to have to find a way for it to start on the mound. They can't go out like last game and allow a bunch of runs and not play sound defense behind them. Both those. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Racing back, the right fielder. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. So his remarkable season continues as the Yankees move out to a three-to-nothing lead. You want to certainly drive home runs out of the ballpark, then you better get on the gas. And that's what he did right there. That fastball was not sneaking by him. Stepping in, Lou Gehrig. He's been sending souvenirs into the now seats at a record clip. If he manages to keep on to this pace, he could end the year with over 75 home runs. Okay. And I would love nothing more than to see him do it. Right, this, this is, is you, historic. This is, this is why you pay the price of a ticket. You want to see this guy get his four at bats. Can't tell you how monumental it would be for not only him, but for the game. Swung on and belted. Looking up is Hedegger. So a three-run blast to straightaway left, his second of the game. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Oh, a little quick jump right there. He does it in a variety of different ways. That time, first pitch out of the gate, he was coming unglued. All set for the start of the inning, and Pretty digging in is the veteran DH, the Lou Gehrig. Lou. Yeah, that last at bat, Manny, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton, he didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Now a swing oh, and a run. miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Hey, boys, you talking hey, about getting your A can. swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive oh, power letting it eat. One ball, one strike, the count. Hey, make it yours. The 1-1 is looked at for ball number two. And it's fouled away. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that is through into right field for a single. Yeah, yeah, the ball is hit hard. Hey, Dan, this guy's having a monster series on the road. Were you aware of the home road splits? I think every player is, and sometimes it's just a matter of being either comfortable on the mound or comfortable in a batter's box in some visiting ballparks, and some guys, quite frankly, like it better now on the road than they do at home. Better fielder, Reggie Gehrig, Jackson. aboard here at first with hey, nobody see, out. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Opportunity now to look at some of the future plans for this Mariner organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent action. Up next for the Yankees. The right fielder. Aaron. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. There's one relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. In now is the Yankees DH, Lou Gehrig. As we mentioned earlier, he's vying for the league's home run crown, and he certainly helped his cause in this one, adding two notches to his homer total so far. Right, yeah, I think go. when Come he woke on, up with his morning you. coffee today, he would have clocked in two bombs and been okay with it this at bat right here is just gravy for him one ball no strikes to count fouled away 
not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. The 1-1 home. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Right fielder looking up. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. His third home run of the ball game, as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hack trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that in the baseball game. Striding in, Lou Gehrig. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. Talk about having a game of a lifetime. In his last at-bat, he hit his third home run of the game. You know walking up to the plate right now, he's thinking about hitting number four. And he fouls this one off. Oh, big guy. Get your pitch, huh? Now a good pitch oh, around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom one of the pick. zone. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Hey, it it. Well, hey, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball's... Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya! <laughs> So a three-run shot to right center field is fourth in the ballgame as they just continue to pour it on here. You know, talk about having a great day. Four home runs in one game. I would say that's uh, more than great. That's a spectacular day. Well, that's win number 90 on the season for them so far, and they've been a force on the field all year long. And by the looks of it, they're not done yet. 12 to 3 is the way this one ends. The New York Yankees, with their 90th win best in the division. Lefty Grove records win number 16 on the season. Domingo Herman permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, four hours and one minute. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, it's the finale of this four-game set between the New York Yankees and the Seattle Mariners. The Yanks have won five games in a row. They'll look for number six right after this.
Marco Gonzalez gets handed the ball for the fourth and final game of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? This guy's kind of hard to figure out. You think most pitchers would love pitching in their home ballpark, but he struggled at home so far this season. There hasn't been a lot of home cooking for this guy, and that's something he needs to turn around and turn around in a big way. Batting third. Now at the plate, but Mickey Mantle. Hitter. He enters this Mickey. one second in the American League Mantle. in round trippers. Yeah, guys, this isn't a shocker oh, man, right here. Driving. He is definitely known as one of the best pure power hitters in baseball these days. First pitch of the at bat. And that changeup makes him one. jump, a swing and a miss. Fellas, the Mariners entering play here this afternoon. They come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've he's dropped. Going, he's going. Oh, and they've got him picked off. And a good decision yes. to throw as he is toast at second base. Well, that's not a good look. No one likes getting picked off, but it's especially bad when it's your team's first hit. It's kind of deflating. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Gonzalez, 30 years of age. He was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2013. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do. Whitey Ford gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's had a solid season up to this point. 15 wins on the year, and that's a pretty good number. He's going to look to add to that total in this one here today. Now batting, Mickey Mantle. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time Mickey. up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much Mantle. of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Adi jumps on Get this one. Here. It's high and deep to center. Junior looks up. <laughs> So a solo shot here to left center field, number 699 now for his career, as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. To the plate now is the designated the hitter, batter. Mickey Mantle. He's working designated on a one hit. for two game so Mickey. far. Mantle. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch sharply, but foul down the right side. Wagner leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Now a throw over, but the runners back easily. Got this. And again, a throw, and no, he'll safe. dive back in safely. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Cut one fastball one. above the letters, a ball and a strike. Very impressive outing so hey, far. His command it. has been Drive spot it. on. Oh, Even when he misses his spot, steal, it isn't steal. out over the heart of play. He's throwing quality pitches. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. All right, one time. Right the one-two. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And Got that it. ends the inning. The Yanks leave one. Score remains deadlocked at one.
Digging in. Now Mickey back. Mantle. Just Go ahead, run at first. Mickey. Nobody out. Mantle. They need you right now. Keep it going. Here's the first pitch. It might be. It could be. It's gone. A home run. <laughs> That's it. Career home run number 700. And what a special moment this is in baseball history. Boy, that's the truth, Matt. It's been a storybook career for him. His ticket to Cooperstown was already stamped a long time ago. But pretty soon, they might have to build him his own floor. This is something only a couple of guys have been able to accomplish, and he's not even done yet. Who knows how many more he can hit? And he just keeps on going and going. That's save number 35 for the season. And he's proven to be as reliable as anyone in the game. And the score finishes 4-1 to one today. The New York Yankees came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Hal Newhauser wins out of the bullpen his ninth victory of the year. Christy Mathewson hammers down the save, his league-leading 35th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees. Four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Mariners. One run on six hits. No errors. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game. Two hours and 47 minutes.